How is it going everybody and welcome back to another discussions video. Now today I have a very interesting and somewhat divisive topic which is that there is only one MCI or missing children's incident. Now there is, I don't know how popular the theory is, but there is the idea that there's actually two. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about how that's just not true slash possible given evidence in the games. Now, in this video, I am going to be changing things up a little bit, and I'm actually going to start with some evidence and arguments that would support a second MCI and then move into counter evidence and some of my own arguments as to why those don't actually show that and how there is only one MCI. Now, before I begin, just a little bit of a disclaimer. I am no dedicated theorist. These videos are just plainly for fun and to bring up ideas or theories or stuff like that that I just think it would be fun to talk about. So if I missed any information or if there's anything I got wrong, feel free to let me know in the comments because I would just like to know if I got something wrong, you know? Anyways, without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into the video with the very few bits of evidence in favor of a second MCI. So, let's start with some evidence for a second MCI, with the very few and far between bits of evidence, but I thought it would be interesting for this to, instead of just kind of listing out the evidence and just kind of, oh, here's this bit, here's this bit, and kind of talking about it, I thought it'd be more fun to go through each game and see if there's any evidence for a second MCI in that game so like start with FNAF 1 2 3 and then go through all of them and see which games have evidence for it and which games don't so with that let's start with FNAF 1 does FNAF 1 have any evidence of a second MCI no there's none so that's done FNAF 2 is where we start to get some bits of evidence for a second MCI with one mini game and a phone call with that that's really about it so the mini game is i think it's the save them mini game the one where you kind of have to walk around the fnaf 2 pizzeria i think you're freddy and you're just kind of walking around and there's some like pools of blood and then there's like some bodies and that's about it and, and so people use that as see it's in the fnaf 2 location and it must be a second mci because you're Freddy walking around and you're seeing this. So it has to be a second MCI. Which, I can understand that at least, right? It, it makes a bit of sense if you're going based on the fact that the mini games would be a one-to-one -one translation to what actually happened. So it, I, can see where, I can see where people are coming from with this one. And then the phone call is... I think it's the FNAF, not the FNAF 2, the FNAF 2 Night 6 phone call. That's what I was going to, I was going to say FNAF 6. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, the FNAF 2 Night 6 phone call is when phone, phone guys talking about, oh, what on earth are you doing back at the location? It's shut down. Police are investigating. Things have gone crazy. A guy in a yellow suit showed up. He messed with the animatronics and now they're not acting right just survive until 6 a.m that's how the phone call goes and so people are like oh well it's clearly william mafton coming back he got some more kids and uh, everything's gone crazy because something or other fnaf lore however that works which i guess is very vague the phone call is very vague so <laughs> there's not a whole lot to go off of but i guess you could maybe consider that as some bit of evidence but that's really about it for FNAF 2 like there's not much else so FNAF 2 done we got a little bit of evidence so FNAF 3 then does sort of continue that a little bit 
there's not a whole lot of evidence in FNAF 3 for a second MCI, but in the, I, it's the good ending, and you have the Happiest Day minigame, that's what I was trying to think of, the Happiest Day minigame, there's the main five kids, and the puppet, but then there's also a handful of other, like, kid spirits sitting at some other tables, and so people use that as, look, there's more spirits, which must mean there's a second MCI. Which, I can, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I can, I can see that. I can kind of see where people are coming from with that one. You know, why are there more spirits here if there's only one MCI? It makes sense. But it is still not all that concrete of evidence, but it makes sense. And that's about it for FNAF 3. There's not much else in there. FNAF 4, uh, absolutely nothing because it's the most prequel of all the games, so there's absolutely nothing in there about anything MCI related. Sister Location has absolutely nothing because Sister Location is so confusing and weird and nobody knows where it goes in the timeline, so there's no information connecting it to anything else. Pizzeria Simulator. Um, it has more to do with the original MCI than anything else so there's no mention or hint or anything at a second one there's only ever the main one talked about i think it's even with the gravestone ending right like it shows here's the main gravestones of the original mci so it shows you the one but it doesn't mention a second one at all ultimate custom night i think is the next game uh, not much mention there, since it's just Ultimate Custom Night. Moving on to Help Wanted, I think that's the next one. Help Wanted doesn't do much with that. If anything, it gives more hints and ideas to the original MCI than supporting a second one. So, not anything there. I would talk about FNAF AR, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Uh, I think after that then is Security Breach, which technically, technically, it does show a second MCI. However, it's clearly not the same one that people would be talking about with FNAF 2. So, I obviously I'm not going to count that as evidence, but technically it does show that there is a second MCI happening at the Pizza Plex. I just thought it'd be kind of funny to talk about that. But other than that, absolutely nothing to do with any of the Mystic Children's incidents. I think Ruin is next, and that one has even less to do with anything missing about children. So, nothing going on there. And then Help Wanted 2 touches on a little bit more of the original MCI, but not much else after that. So, again... Not much there, but in FNAF 2 and 3, there's a little bit of evidence to support it. But that's really about it. Like, there's not a whole lot to support it. So, with that, now I'm going to talk about how those bits of evidence in FNAF 2 and 3 actually don't show a second MCI. Like, we can prove that it's not showing that, for the most part. For evidence in favor of only one MCI, I'm going to be kind of splitting it up into two different sections. So the first section is going to be countering the evidence in favor of a second MCI. So I'm going to counter the two pieces of evidence from FNAF 2 and the one bit of evidence from FNAF 3. And so that'll be one section. And then the next section is going to be just any other evidence slash my thoughts on why there's only one MCI. So, two different sections for in favor of one MCI, essentially. So, to start with countering evidence kind of stuff, for the FNAF 2 Save Them minigame, I'm, it's really tough on the, for this one to think about how to counter it. I'm sure there's good evidence out there that talks about how it proves that there's only one MCI, but I'm, I'm really stuck on this one. 
because it does in all likeliness fairness whatever show a bunch of bodies in the FNAF 2 location and Freddy's walking around and it's withered Freddy so since it's withered Freddy we know that he's already been stuffed and thus possessed so it can't be the first MCI victims and William Afton shows up sometimes I think and tries to stop you so it in all fairness seems like it shows a second MCI which I can't really explain so for right now that piece of evidence I can't counter argue there's a bit of evidence that I think shows a second MCI and that's really about it for that I don't know how to counter argue on this one if you guys have evidence or any kind of ooh, counter arguments for like against that bit of evidence then leave a comment because I would like to know but right now I can't disprove that one so second MCI gets a win there it's I'm 0 for 1 it's just how it has to be sometimes but the phone call from FNAF 2 that one can be disproven so the phone call is as I said before extremely vague it's really vague it doesn't say anything about what's going on he literally only says oh the dude in a yellow suit that we had in the back messed with the robots and now none of them are acting right like that's essentially all he says he doesn't say oh you know a dude showed up lured some kids it's bad he didn't say oh you know the yellow guy showed up and mess like oh he transferred parts from the robots like he doesn't say anything specific he's just so vague so it can literally be used for anything but i think the lack of any hints towards oh there's kids involved kind of leans it away from it being oh he went and he got more kids to he's just trying to figure out the robots i think it's more likely that william afton went back and he's like i need to figure out how these robots are walking around how are the withers walking around because we know that the toys the toy animatronics can walk around like that's part of their programming and they come to your office because of the lights and they attack you because they think you're a criminal so they're probably not possessed however we know the withers are so I think what's happening is William Afton's going back and at first he was a night guard and he's trying to mess with the animatronics and figure out what makes them tick, right? Like, how are these guys walking around? They shouldn't be walking around. How are they doing it? So he's trying to figure out remnant, I guess. That's kind of the idea I'm getting. And then obviously he probably gets found out and then he has to start coming back in the spring bonnie suit to do the same thing so i'm guessing that's just what it was because if they're like hey that's the guy who caused the first M mci but we didn't catch him on that and he's back here well of course they're going to call the police and start an investigation so i think that's a fair explanation for that so i'm going to count that as counter argued so now i'm one for one we're down to the tiebreaker the what is it called happiest day i keep forgetting that one the happiest day mini game it's down to that one so the happiest day mini game it shows more like it shows more ghost kid spirits but the highlight of it is the main five plus the puppet so i think the fact that the other ghost spirits aren't wearing the toy animatronic masks they're wearing other random masks and the fact that they're not involved in it at all since the bad ending and the good ending only show the original animatronic masks the bonnie foxy chica freddy and golden freddy masks so the fact that none of the toys or anything fnaf 2 related is involved with the endings like at all except for the puppet i think pretty much just says look there's no second mci the first one's the only one that's important 
the other ghost spirits are just there to fill the room essentially because otherwise you would just be walking through an empty room which i guess would kind of look cool too but i think it's just there for show and just for fun to kind of make it seem more like a party room rather than oh these are more spirits since there's not really ev any evidence for that so i think it's just background stuff because the main focus of fnaf 3 is only ever springtrap and the original five mci victims nothing ever brought up past that so i think if there was more then they would have been shown but they're not so i'm gonna count that as a quasi win for me we're two and one uh best two out of three i won bought a book bought a boom can't beat that <laughs> i don't know but yeah so that's kind of the basic rambly version of the counter arguments i can't disprove the save them minigame i can disprove the phone call and i can for the most part disprove the happiest day minigame so for the most part their second mci evidence has been disproven except for that one because save them i don't know i still think it's early on in fnaf so the story wasn't there yet but whatever i can't disprove it right now so they get at least a quasi win but with that i'm going to move on to more solid reasoning slash why i think there isn't a second one based on all the evidence past fnaf 2 but i guess essentially essentially since the start of the series but past fnaf 2 why there's only one mci So this section is essentially just going to be me rambling even more about just random stuff from the games that I think prove that there's only one MCI. So after FNAF 2, there's very little to no evidence of a second MCI like we've already been over before. FNAF 3, I think, is a very big one and the fact that it highlights the original five and that's it it doesn't highlight the toys at all they're not even involved the endings both only show the masks of the original five when william gets spring locked there's only five spirits if there is more that if there's more like another missing children's incident i feel like they should be there too maybe they weren't invited but you know, I feel like they should be there. So the fact that there's only five makes me feel like there's only those five. And after, like, Pizza Sim highlights the main five missing children. The uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, if Help Wanted does too. It highlights the fact that there's only one missing children's incident for the most part. I just feel like a lot of the games lore all that kind of stuff like even books and all that kind of stuff basically just say look we're gonna highlight the original five because those are the most important we're gonna give them names we're gonna give them gravestones like we're gonna give them all this kind of stuff but if there's a second one then you would think that they would get that or are they just not important right like if there if there's more then I feel like it's kind of weird to be like, all right, we have one missing children's incident, but then there's a second one, but we're not going to talk about the second one at all, ever. Any of the kids that, you know, were off in that one, they don't matter at all. Then we're not going to give them names. We're not going to talk about them. We're just going to forget about them. And we're only going to talk about the original five and then like Charlotte's in there too, but like the original five. We're not going to talk about anybody else except for them. I feel like if there was a second one, that would be extremely rude. Like, I know it's just a game, but still, it's like, it's all just made up. But I feel like that would just be so rude. Like, oh, we're only going to ever talk about these guys and we're going to forget about the other ones. So that's why I think that there is only one. Because there's no mention of a second one ever. There's no hint at it. There's like nothing except for the save that minigame. But 
if you're looking at the whole grandiose uh, picture of the FNAF franchise, if there's only one mini game in the entire franchise that can essentially only be explained as a second MCI, and it's from the second game in the series, I kind of think that there's probably not one if there's only that. So that's just sort of a quick, brief, my opinion on that. I just think it's never talked about. The original MCI, the original Missing Kids, they're talked about a lot. We saw them in the FNAF movie. We get the gravestones. We see them a lot. I think they show, they do show up and help Wanted a bit, right? I think there's, oh, I'm trying to remember which game it's from. Maybe it's Curse of Dreadbear, but there's one where it shows like a gazebo looking thing. And then there's like the handful of gravestones around there with the glitching one in the middle. And I think there's only enough for the missing children's incident and not a second one. So it's really shown and focused on here. There's one missing children's incident. These kids are important to the lore of the franchise. So they get the attention put on them. If there's a second one, I feel like they would be mentioned at least once somewhere, except for one mini game. Like they would have gotten brought up again at some point. So I think the fact that the franchise focuses so heavily on the original five kids that there just isn't room for a second one. Like, why would there be a second one? Why would there be a need for a second one if it's only going to be like a passing mention? Hardly, because it's not mentioned at all. So just a, a passing thought. So I just think it doesn't quite make sense that there would be a second one just based on how the franchise looks and how the franchise is going. I mean, it's moving away from ghosts and spirits, but from what the franchise was for the most part it just there's just not room for a second one so that's kind of just my rambling reason as to why i think there's only one so just it just makes sense to me but that's just really about it for my reasoning so we'll move on to i guess the conclusion I guess to sum everything up, essentially, aside from one minigame, there is very little to no evidence of a second missing children's incident, and the way that the game's stories work, and the way the franchise was going, and stuff like that, really points to there only being the original five, plus Charlotte, but the original five from the first missing children's incident there's only one that's only there's only ever one focused on there's only ever one mention there's only ever one shown so with everything i think that there is only one and that any evidence for a second one has either been retconned out or just has been misunderstood so that's really about it for the video i know this one was a bit different i kind of took a different approach to this one usually i tend to write out somewhat of a script and like follow it and do all that kind of stuff but for this one i thought i'd kind of go back to what i used to do and just kind of ramble on about stuff i i find that i like to ramble so why not just make that what the discussion videos are right discussions are just sort of you talking right that's what discussions are so that's what i like to do i don't like to sit down and write a script and be all formal and that kind of stuff and and not just talk how i like to talk so i thought a more rambly fun kind of video would be good so that's kind of what this one turned out to be, just a fun, rambling mess, essentially. <laughs> but I hope that you guys still understood it and got most of what I was trying to say. And I really just hope you guys just had fun with it. 
if you guys agree or disagree i it's up to you i mean i'm not gonna tell you you're wrong i think that there's only one but if you think that there's two then all power to you i just hope that you guys had fun watching this video so with that this is this video's over i guess so i'll do a quick outro shameless plugs check them out they will be linked in the description below be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and had fun with it comment if you want to say anything or if you have any other discussion ideas or if you know you just want to say hi be sure to subscribe if you want to see more discussion videos more gaming videos all that kind of stuff i thank you all for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video and you just had fun with it and hmm why should we make our comment you know i'm never good at these i'm never good at coming up with what people should comment if they've made it this far um hmm comment happiest day if you made it this far in the video and there will be a poll with the next topic uh choices i guess uh coming up probably after this video goes live or maybe before whatever i'm feeling but be sure to check out that poll so that you can vote on what you want to see me do next but with that i will see you in the next video goodbye